Today in the news, the RTX 4000 series makes even less sense than I thought, and AMD cock blocks overclockers. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. So the lineup of their new generation of GPUs is slowly making its way out. We got the RTX 4090 and 80 last year, and a couple of weeks ago we got the RTX 4070 Ti. And so far we got nothing under 800 bucks, and no, 799 doesn't count. And it's kind of mind boggling, given that every past generation of GPUs, whether it be from NVIDIA or AMD, launched with a top tier GPU at or under 700 bucks. But yeah, they're way more expensive and there's nothing new in the more reasonable price ranges. That's at least for now. Some leaks are popping up about the future GPU launches. There's the 4070, which supposedly would come with 5,888 CUDA cores, a decrease of about 25% compared to the 4070 Ti. We don't know anything really about the price point for this one, but I would guess six to $650. Further down the stack, there would be the RTX 4060 Ti. Right now, it is rumored to feature 26% less CUDA cores than the 4070, so 4,352, and pricing-wise, we heard that it would be sub 500 bucks. But since all of the GPU prices seem to go, well, up, it's likely going to be something like 449 or 479. Side note here, I really hope that the CUDA core count doesn't scale linearly for performance because those are some big drops from tier to tier. We're talking like 25%, 25%, 25%. Anyways, a little under 500 bucks. So why am I talking about that? Well, a reputable leaker on Twitter called copite 7 kimmy said that the 4060 Ti has a performance target of RTX 3070, a card that is on average just 12 to 13-ish percent faster than the 3060 Ti. Not only that, but the gap gets even smaller if we look at the 3060 Ti with GDDR6X memory, which in itself is about 4 to 6% faster than the OG 3060 Ti. So if the performance target for the 4060 Ti really is a stock RTX 3070, then we're only seeing a jump in performance of about 5 to 10-ish percent generation over generation. Like, what? Plus, you're gonna pay more money for the 4060 Ti than the 3060 Ti launched at. If that's really the case, and the 3070 really is the performance target, and only time will tell once they launch, then Nvidia is really down bad to sell their remaining inventory of RTX 3000 series. It seems like the RTX 4000 series is an even bigger mess than I thought it was before. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Moving on to the other side of the fence, we got AMD in the news. For the last two generations of RDNA graphics, there was one overclocking tool that really made a difference to squeeze extra juice out of your GPU, the More Power Tool. It allowed you to increase power, optimize voltage curves for better overclocking or for better undervolting. Basically, it was the best way to OC your RDNA 1 and 2 GPUs. And it did so by modifying the power play tables. Well, you can forget trying to do something similar for RDNA 3. According to one of the developers of the More Power Tool, the 7000 series can't be supported because AMD uh, completely locked out the power play tables. He said, and I quote, to make things work, we we would have to rewrite firmware and drivers, and we cannot do that, not even under Linux. So there will be no MPT for RDNA 3. AMD really screwed it up this time. You know, I'm kind of bummed by that, but honestly, the 7900 series isn't that appealing to me. A, it's too expensive, and B, I mean, they just locked out overclocking. If I were to buy a GPU for a system right now, I'd definitely stick to a 6000 series. Moving on, but hanging on the thread of GPU news, if you're like me and you'd rather buy a last gen GPU, please be careful. I mean, in the last couple of weeks, there was this whole thing about RX 6800 and 6900 series that were dying after like a day or two of gaming. And that was due to poorly stored or literally pressure washed GPUs or X mining GPUs that didn't dry all the way. And now these miners are back at it, literally painting their memory chips to make them look more more new. And that's apparently because the lettering on the chips yellows after extensive loads, like mining. 
I didn't know that, but heavily used GPUs also get a yellow tint on the actual uh, substrate of the GPU package. IMO, you should only buy used GPUs that A, come with a receipt and a warranty, or B, has an eBay return policy. Buying a post mining GPU isn't outright bad, but how they were treated during and how they were stored after mining is super important. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.